Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSE 1990 guys. It's a far older question if you ask me. Okay, yes. Okay, so in this question, this belongs to GATE CSE 1990. So the question is match the following. Okay, so here the question is a bit simple, right? So they gave directly some things and they are asking the complexities. Okay, so the first thing is a heap sort. Okay. Okay, so how much complexity does heaps of construction takes? Okay, similarly construction of a hash table with linear probing. Okay, similarly AVL tree construction. Okay, similarly digital tree construction. I think I don't know that much about this digital tree. So anyway, by applying ABC, let us try to guess what could be the answer. Okay, yes. So first of all, what is the uh, cost or what is the construction cost of a heap guys? So if there are n elements, how much it will take? So you are just going to place them in its locations, right? First of all, so that is nothing but the heap construction, right? So it's not talking about min heap or max heap or it is not talking about heapify and all those things, right? So in that situation, it will be Q, right? So A will be Q, okay? So with that understanding, you can as you can you remove A as an option, right? Yes, okay. Similarly, moving on to second, that is construction of a hashing, hash table with linear probing. Okay, so mostly I think it is with respect to worst case. Okay, so in worst case, until where it can go, guys, go guys, it can go up to big O of n square, right? So when it is exactly into the next, so it will take again loop and again it will come. So again it will check. So at that time it will go up to big O of n square. So R should be the answer for this. Okay, so again option D is wrong. Similarly, moving on to AVL tree construction. Okay, so if you recall, AVL tree is a complete balanced tree, right? Okay, so for AVL tree construction, it will cost n log base to n guys. Okay, so that is nothing but yes, right? Yes, so only one option is there. So with that, you can say that C is the correct answer. Okay, so I did not even try to understand what is this digital tree construction and what is the value, right? Yes, so now I hope everyone got a clear idea, right? So how exactly you can solve these type of questions? Okay, so in the next lecture, let us continue with the next question. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.